who, what, why. Ten seconds. Yeah, welcome, welcome very, very much to Conversations. It's a pleasure to welcome to the program Russ Baker. He's the director and the, uh, the, the force behind a major organization, uh, investigative journalistic organization called Who, What, Why. Who, What, Why. It's really an important source of information, understanding the political process. We're friends from way, way back. We've been out of touch, but it's so good to welcome you to the program. It's so good to see you. Sorry we got you started up kind of late getting this session going, but welcome to the set. Thanks, Harold. Good to be here. Good to see you again. It's been a long time, too long, and it's good. We should be in touch with one another. Share with us, will you, with the audience, because we've not done, we've done programs in the past, but we were behind. Uh, share your background. Born and raised a little bit. Sure. And then this, uh, this, this institution that you've got going, who, what, where. Well, I grew up in um, California, Southern California, right. attended UCLA, degree in political science, right. worked in uh, politics when I was young. I uh, also worked in business, so I had a variety of experience. I traveled all over the world, learned a bunch of languages. Uh, a bunch of languages. And, uh, yeah. Yes, and then in my uh, late 20s, I decided to make a career switch and uh -huh. to become a journalist. Yeah. Uh, came out to uh, New York and got a master's at uh, Columbia's Graduate School of Journalism. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I started out um, as an independent journalist. Yeah. I uh, went to... Um, uh, right after school ended, I went out to Central Africa where there were the uh, Hutu Tutsi massacres, yeah. and I covered that uh, in Burundi. You covered it at the time? In Burundi, which was yeah, right Bur next yeah. door and right before yeah. what happened in Rwanda. Horrible. Uh, yes, it was horrible. And, and so th I began getting bylines in newspapers, uh, came back to New York, began working for the Village Voice okay. back during a time when the Village Voice was a real force. Co column or something? Or what? I was an investigative reporter for the paper, doing okay. a lot of big cover stories on, um, uh, on the Central Intelligence Agency, right. on Latin America, on the uh, Exxon Valdez oil spill, yeah, yeah. Uh, working really on a whole bunch of different right, subjects, right. covering You're investigative, uh, covering, yeah, investigative yeah. covering yeah. the uh, police union, police yeah. brutality and corruption in the, right. in the police department. Um, and, and so that, I, the major book you wrote, uh, right? And so I then, uh, some years later, yeah. I began working also for other news organizations right. around the United States and right. around the world. Right. Uh, and in 2009, I published a book called Family of Secrets. Right. right. And Family of Secrets, uh, the subtitle of the paperback version is The Bush Dynasty, yeah. America's Invisible Government, and the Hidden History of the Last 50 Years. Right. And this is my five-year investigation yeah. of the rise of the Bush clan, multiple generations in power, uh -huh. and what their uh, influence meant uh -huh. and I began to see a constellation of power yeah. involving uh, primarily private capital right. utilizing government f through the Central Intelligence Agency, uh -huh. through yeah. the State Department and through other arms, the FBI and so on, to carry out their own uh, interests. Were they doing it on a whole cloth or were they growing upon th a trend that had been going on from some period that led up to making that possible? Well, I, th I think the entire history of the yeah. United States yeah, is yeah. that of yeah. uh, powerful people, rich yeah. people, and elites writing their own ticket. Right. It goes right back to the founders, right. but um, there have been sort of uh, turning points, and one of the turning points was uh, in the post-Roosevelt era yeah. uh, when Harry Truman, and this is all in my book, Family of Secrets. I got the book, uh, Place of Honor, at the show. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, what happened was yeah. that Truman, uh, Roosevelt was tough and was able to push back at these elements. Yeah. Uh, uh, Truman was a very different person. He got in, I think he was a little bit bewildered. They uh, knew they could not get a CIA created under uh, Roosevelt, but with Truman they basically tricked him. Mm -hmm. Neither of them wanted to have a peacetime intelligence agency because right. they figured that there was a threat that they would have a power grab, that you'd effectively have a yeah. kind of a secret police like you had in the uh, East Bloc. Yeah. Did it grow out of the OSS? 
was? Uh, the well, CIA? I mean, it did in part because yeah. certainly it was some of the same people. Yeah. But there were all these different factions, yeah. and uh, it was not directly the OSS. Yeah. Uh, and so a, a number of people got in and were advisors uh, to Truman, and they basically tricked him. Yeah. Uh, one of the people who was involved with that was a man named Robert Lovett, who was a business partner with Prescott Bush. Yes. He was the grandfather yeah. of George W. Bush. Right. And they were uh, business partners in a big private uh, investment banking firm called Brown Brothers yes. Harriman, which is yeah. around today, yeah, still, uh, very yeah. much quiet and behind mm -hmm. the scenes, yeah. uh, often handling the money of some of the wealthiest people and families. That would be part of what is called the establishment. Very much so, yeah, that's right, right, the Eastern yeah. Establishment. Yeah. And so they managed to convince Truman that they were creating something very benign, right. and he reluctantly agreed, but they immediately did a switcheroo, yeah. and they immediately started doing things that he never authorized. Well, really? So this was Truman, and then comes comes Eisenhower, who... They were uh, working behind his back? You that's saying, right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and in my book, Family of Secrets, yeah, I actually right. go into how they were doing all yeah, of this. Yeah. But they basically, he thought that, the reason it's called the Central Intelligence Agency, yeah. it was supposed to be a centralization of intelligence. Yeah. In other words, there was intelligence coming in from the State Department, yeah. uh, from the Navy. Right. All these places were collecting intelligence. And right. so they said, well, you need a place where we can organize it all yeah. and then present it to you. Well, that, uh -huh. that sounds innocuous and that yeah. sounds fine. And so yeah. he said, okay, uh -huh. uh, but all of this covert operations where they began going around uh, essentially plotting uh, against the leaders of other countries. This yeah. was never really authorized, certainly not intended by him was this carrying, uh, or by Congress. Was uh, this carrying uh, uh, the stamp of a Bush takeover? Well, system, right. So what, so what I'm saying is back did in... they the represent an, uh, a part how is the establishment organized? Where are the major... Well, uh, back lines? in those days, yeah. if, uh, Prescott Bush uh, was a uh, partner in Brown Brothers Harriman, so along banking, with yeah. Averill Harriman yeah. and his Republican brother, Roland, and uh, Robert Lovett and a number of these other people. See, yeah. And my point is, yes. because it's easy to lose the point, is right. that uh, the United States, like most countries, has always been uh, run wherever possible by elites, by, right. uh, and you know this because yeah. I know you're well schooled in all of this, of yeah. course, and you knew many of the great thinkers in these areas, so I'm not telling you something you, you're not no, aware no, no. of. No, there was Rome. But, you know, uh, but yeah. that's right, and so, uh, so the, the wealthy have always utilized institutions and, and certainly government yeah. to advance their own ends, and because yeah. there are fewer of them than there are of everybody else, yeah. in order to maintain outsized influence uh -huh. in a supposedly democratic democratic system or yeah. a republic, yeah. uh, they need to be manipulating the process. Yeah. And so they've been able to use th all of these uh, departments and agencies right. and so forth. And so you're really looking at private capital, right. private individuals, families, yeah. uh, and then their entities, banks, yeah. uh, insurance companies. Uh, uh, defense, or they call it defense, yeah. military contractors yeah. and so yeah. on. And all of these uh, having a lot in common. Yeah working together, very much having uh, business and social networks, mm -hmm. uh, often being members of the same uh, country clubs, yeah. secret societies like Skull and Bones, and it enforces yeah. this kind of class cohesion. Yeah. And so my book, Family of Secrets, is very much about that behind the scenes structure uh, that shapes things. And it's really m about much more than the Bush family. The Bush family are simply probably the most effective of a, a number of families that have sort of offered to be the front guys, to be the ones who would yeah. run for office uh -huh. and would serve in public positions have, advancing these interests. Have you been ever get a take on the overall structure itself or who the... Well, the I mean, uh, pe look, pe pe you know, people right are always looking yeah, for a, a yeah. you know, a board, a managing yeah, right, board, right, and right, I've never seen yeah. indications that anything is quite so neat. And yeah, by the way, right. we, we can, you know, yeah. flash forward, we're, like we're, reality, tape yeah. we're taping this on Super Tuesday. That's right. Uh, yeah. When people watch this, it'll be over and they'll know uh, what has happened. We don't know. But we don't know, and the reality is yeah. that, that uh, uh, now we have Donald Trump, and yeah. he is another rich guy. Yeah. 
uh, who, you know, and the rich all battle with each other. I want to yeah. be clear about that. That's why it's not so neat. It's very yeah. messy. Yeah. It's very bloody. Yeah. They all battle with each other. They sue each other. Yeah. They partner up and then they betray each other. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the end, they can all come together when they need to. And mm -hmm. so whether it's Donald Trump uh, or it's Ted Cruz or whoever it is, yeah. they all understand the importance of uh, preserving many things. They all want to preserve a lot of the same things. And so where you get disagreements is over usually over social issues. Okay. Social issues yeah, yeah. are what motivate the, uh, the, the rest of us, many of us, yeah. to vote because they're easy to understand. Like People have what? Like strong what? feelings about abortion, yeah. strong feelings about uh, the rights of various groups, of people prayer, of color, yeah, yeah. about prayer, about yeah. a gay marriage. Yeah. All of these kinds of things motivate us. We find them interesting, they're easy to talk about, and so the and candidates- get You can get opinionated. And so the candidates assemble their base on those issues. But it's really all about money. It's all about money, and we don't <laughs> yeah. talk about that. Right. We're Right. distracted by the shiny object over here. Why do we let them, we, or what about the intellectual class itself? You know, just academia or the, the intellectual, intellectual class, class itself. Or the journalists or investigative journalists. Well, who are supposed sadly, to watch that chicken coop. Sadly, I think that the, the intellectual class in this country and the journalists are pretty useless. Really? And, uh, you know, w the reason yeah. I started yeah. Who, What, Why, right. we're a 501c3 nonprofit. Yeah. And the reason I started, and by the way, not only are we a nonprofit, meaning we don't uh, have investors yeah. or any of that stuff, mm -hmm. no loans, none of that kind of stuff, we don't even take ads. And some nonprofits take ads on their websites. Right. We're a website, we take yeah. no ads. The All rich, it's really rich. I was there the other day. I was really amazed at how much you got done. Thank you very much. Mazel top Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. We, we yeah. do it all with yeah. very very little yeah. uh, we uh, are are we our funding comes entirely from the public from uh -huh. uh, readers and viewers and uh, we also have volunteers who help yeah. us out and we do that to keep our costs low so we can do this kind of journalism but the reason I started who yeah. what why yeah. was that when I worked in the media I discovered that although I think journalists try to do a decent job the problem is they work for the system they right. most of the media is profit making most of it is owned by uh, large corporations and they have you know if you work for MSNBC it's connected to NBC which is connected to something else if you work for CBS it's connected to a conglomerate and they right. have other wings you remember NBC with uh, uh, General Electric and Westinghouse right, right. huge military contractors and so right. as soon as there was a war you saw whether it was Tom Brokaw or whoever the, the, the modern anchors would be up there right. with all that patriotic music yeah, and everybody was right. being told to get on board and get behind the war. Yeah. And so even, you know, yeah. in the, the right wing and the Fox News and so on try to label the media the leftist or the liberal yeah. media. Yeah. Well, they're liberal on social issues, but the truth is what they are, Harold, is they're part of the establishment. Right. And so the narratives are always acceptable narratives. Mm -hmm. uh, the real truth, the real nature of our society is something that will never be spoken spoken about. Never? Not really. Not even the best efforts of the who, what, where? Not, well, who, what, why, but we, we exist why. as an alternative yeah, to right. the media. Are there others that you have a camaraderie with? You know, I wish, there, I wish there were. There is, there are, look, all, yeah. all of these organizations yeah. bring something valuable. Yeah, right. I want to be clear about that. Yeah, we would true. like to work yeah, with others. Right. There's what you call the so-called alternative media. Yeah. The problem with these so-called alternative media is they themselves have their own narrative, right. and it's their narrative uh, is a typical liberal left narrative right. which is fine but you see to me to do journalism you can't have a narrative in other words you've got to be trying to okay. you, of course you have your own understanding of how things work which is what I've been explaining to you but you, you have something like a vision statement you or have anything to, like that or uh, not? You, you, you have to or, go into each story uh, with an open mind okay. so even if you for example know that banks have problematical behavior mm -hmm. if you look at a particular story in this case maybe the bank didn't do anything wrong yeah. And, you know, you may know that uh, munitions makers have a bad record, but in a particular instance, they How may be accused. How about a checkered record? They, they do checkered. some good and some bad. Right. Well, what I I'm, mean, what you I'm, know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you do yeah. a disservice yeah. to everyone right. when you're always hewing to a particular party well, line. that's true. Yeah. And so right. I would divide the media, yeah. Harold, between the, the, the corporate media yeah. 
and the you know opinion media mm -hmm. and then I say well where is the pure journalism yeah right where are the people who really go out there and so I can still talk as yeah. I have yeah. about the power structure in the society yeah. and recognize that not every instance that's what's going on right right and sometimes an that's apple very, is yeah. an apple yeah right yeah <laughs> right and sometimes it's a pie yeah sometimes yeah. it's a pie yeah. you know right. sometimes it's not an apple at all yeah, and the thing is right. our aim is to respect the public yeah. And to respect the, the the information is valuable and it has to have integrity. Yeah. It has to have integrity. Uh -huh. And so we do what we call forensic journalism at who what why okay. dot org. We're who what why dot org yeah. dot o r g because uh -huh. we're a nonprofit and we want to emphasize that we yeah. are. Uh -huh. But we look at things and um, uh, we get a lot of people mad at us because yeah. uh, they they begin following our site because they saw some stories we did on something, and then we look at some other uh, event, and our conclusions are not the same as they were on the other story, and so they get frustrated because they want to you see. You have an ideology. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I mean, we all personally, every human being has something of an ideology, yeah, right. but That's true, but we yeah. try to sort of check it at the door when we get to work, uh -huh. and the idea some is some people can take umbrage at that. Yeah, that's You're right. You're supposed to understand the real truth. That's right. Well, listen, they have when we're raising core, money, yeah. when we're raising money, yeah. you know, we talk to people and somebody said to me, I love what you're doing, but I hope you don't say anything bad about Hillary. Uh. <laughs> well, I said, well, we'll say whatever we find. Yeah. And if you don't like it, then don't don't support us, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. our job. Yeah. Can that can that that's the spirit of real journalism in a, in a very real sense, what it's meant to be. Uh, it, can, like I, I just said it in another way, but uh, do you have um, fellow travelers, if that's the right term, or you know, like you've got Amy Goodman who tries to put up a different thing, and some people they try all to have, have their through. own. They all yeah. have their own orientation. But you don't feel a sense country. of camaraderie with. Are Listen, there people you feel a sense I of camaraderie I get along with, with most people pretty well, but I'll, I'll, I can see you would. I'll, you got a good person. I'll just tell you this yeah. though: the stories we break, most of the people you could mention will not touch them, and I'm talking about the liberal left media too. They won't yeah. touch the stories. I'll give you a quick example. Please do. Uh, uh, when the Boston Marathon bombing happened, yeah. uh, the uh, FBI was so quick yeah. to announce that they had apprehended yeah. the culprits and was there was no the there was no mm. more investigation yeah. to be done. It was all settled. It's all done. And mm. I can just tell you, yeah. if you ask anybody who's a serious investigator, yeah. they'll tell you that's never the right course of action. Right. And, you know, we, we started watching that and we saw how quickly they were shutting the whole thing down. And what it brought to mind it was, was an another. amazing story just developing in real time with the they're hiding in that boat and everything. The like whole that. story. It was just an incredible array. Uh, and what it reminded saga. what it reminded me of, Harold, yeah. was another event that was almost fifty like years. Like a Hollywood movie or something. Almost fifty years before yeah. that was yeah. the death of John F. Kennedy, right. where you had a lot of parallels between the two. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Kennedy was shot. They didn't know who had done it. Yeah. And then within a very short amount of time, a police officer was shot. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, supposedly yeah. uh, they blamed somebody for it he was caught in a certain yeah. place and yeah. so on yeah. uh, and then he was killed in the case of the Boston Marathon bombing yeah. uh, these people were killed they said they didn't know who did it then yeah. a police officer was shot you yeah. remember that and yeah. then they said and then they started chasing these guys and they killed him just like Oswald was yeah. killed by yeah. Jack Ruby yeah. in the case of the Kennedy thing Oswald was identified as a man who had recently traveled to uh. the Soviet Union in the uh. case of the Boston bombing uh. the elder Sarnaya brothers was identified as someone who had recently traveled to the former Soviet Union. Amazing. It's fascinating. Yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the Kennedy was killed in, in 1963, and yeah. in 2013, which was literally exactly 50 years later, right. the day of the Boston Marathon bombing, there was a fire simultaneously at the John F. Kennedy Library, yeah, with yeah. down the road yeah. from where the Boston yeah. bombing was. Yeah. Now, these are all presumably coincidences, yes. but they're awfully interesting. Yeah. And they both involve the FBI, which, to my uh, knowledge, yeah. was involved in covering up uh, the true nature of uh, what was going on in Dallas at that time. Uh -huh. And what I saw in Boston was the FBI, again, 50 years later, covering up what it knew. Right. Now, what I'm talking about is um, the FBI put up these pictures of these two 
people wearing backpacks and said, if anyone knows who they are, please come forward. Yeah. Well, the Russians came forward and they said, we know who they are and you know who they are because we previously identified the elder brother to you several years earlier uh -huh. and warned you that he was a possible terrorist. Yeah, yeah. The FBI was totally embarrassed by the Russians and they were forced to admit, well, yes, we did know who he was, but we checked him out and there didn't seem to be anything to it. Now, where does it all tell us? Well, what I'm getting at yes. is what I'm getting at is that the FBI, like the CIA and these others, are not enterprises that have any kind of accountability at all. Uh -huh. They serve their own interests and their own purposes. Uh -huh. They thrive on chaos. They thrive on us being in a panic and uh, seeking order. Is, this that is, a, is that a general quality of the society? You know, listen, all, 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 all institutions, yeah. all institutions yeah. uh, want to be uh, needed and yeah. they thrive. If you have no crime at all, there's no reason to have a police, police department. Exactly, right. And so, you know, they yeah. want to be able to say they brought yeah. crime down, but if there's no crime, they get bored, they've right. got no authority, they, people don't respect there them. There goes the funding. And if you look, yeah. I'll just give an example yes. here. If you look at the corporate reports of yeah. some of America's biggest corporations, yeah. they openly talk to their shareholders about all the exciting potential due to terrorism, uh -huh. due to what's going on in Afghanistan, all these wars all over the world. They actually say, we are very optimistic optimistic mm. because uh, we see very uh, significant profit centers resulting from effectively all yeah, of this right, chaos right, and this fear. Right, right. So they no, get war it. Is very, so they very get it. The yeah. FBI thrives yeah. on these yeah. kinds of things, no, but yeah. the FBI's reputation is that they always solve these things and they always solve them quick. Well, that's PR. Was well, that guy Bernays or somebody? Who Edward did Bernays, yeah, the father he, of public relations. Yeah, that's right, yeah, modern yeah, public yeah. relations. And, and, and they all said... That's a lot of what's going on. That's right. It? But yeah. you see, the thing about the FBI is, there. I one of my jokes is that, yeah. the, you know, the FBI, they always they say, FBI always gets its man. And mm. I say, well, you know why they always get their man? Because it's their man. <laughs> <laughs> In other words... Have you e got that e trademark? I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Even the New York yeah. Times, which is yeah. very reticent, mm. all of these major media, and yeah. Amy and everybody, they're all yeah. reticent. Mother Jones, all of these things, not a one of them will touch what I'm telling you. Oh. Not a single one of any of these left alternative things have ever dared to have me on or us on to talk about this thing because it's scary and it sounds a Why, little bit... Why? It's scary in what sense? Well, I mean, because, that, be, because... Because you're getting at the heart we, of things or we, no? Or what? We've all been sort yeah. of brainwashed yeah. with this term uh, conspiracy theory or conspiracy theorist. As a, it's a, as term. a, a put down. It's a put down. It's yeah. pejorative. Yeah. Yeah. And anybody who says, you know, I think there's more to this. Thing. I yeah. think this is more organized. Yeah. They immediately are labeled a kook. Yeah, right. And all of these left people are terrified that their funding is going to dry up okay. and everything else. So, so they now stick, you got it at a very important source. They stick so a lot with of a kind of behavior as funding. That's right. They stick money, with a yeah. kind of superficial yeah. class analysis for everything. But that's oh, not okay. enough. That that's not enough because they don't explain the mechanisms. And that comes out of an ideology? Of course it does. Yeah. But the truth is and they're what's all... what's happened to that The truth Mr. is Mark. that the left in this country, yeah. all these magazines yeah. and shows, are actually very cozy. Most of them make good money. Yeah. They're very cozy in the system. They're perfectly yeah. happy with the system. As long as they have their platform to yeah. criticize things, everything is good. You uh -huh. know, they, they, with a, there's a battle and back and forth and so on. But what I'm talking about is a much more significant ill that that underlines it all. what is everything. Yeah, the everything, whole system. Yeah. Everything. And the, and, and the most important thing of you all... Do you think Mr. Bernie's trying to get at it? Not really, but no. I'll talk about him. He's, Please do. He yeah. can't. No. He can't because no, the second, it's a, it's a the second he starts talking about yeah. what I'm talking about, he's oh. cut out. Okay, talk about what Bernie can't talk about. Bernie cannot yeah. talk about the real state of things. Bernie okay. has to talk about the one percent in Wall Street because that's already become acceptable. See, this is and Bernays understood this. There's this whole rule of yeah. when things become acceptable. Yeah. Donald timing, Trump timing, is yeah. pushing the limits of acceptability. He sure is. He sure uh, is. You know, yeah. five, ten years ago, you could never have spoken in the kind of rude and vulgar and racist way that he does. I think they really like it spontaneous as though he really knows what he's doing. He's, got, he's a, got total control. He's got a manner. He's got a manner. He's got a confidence yeah, yeah, and they yeah. like that. A confidence. You know, people like, to people see that like confidence. Yeah, leaders, that's why I didn't like George, uh, 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 Jeb Bush because he was always kind of squirming and that awkward yeah, smile and they yeah. were like, oh my God, you're embarrassing yeah, me. You know? yeah. So people are, we don't pay any yeah, attention. They want confidence in a leader. Harold, yeah. we don't read books. We yeah. don't think deep thoughts about most of these things. 
we really just want our oversized soda and a, you know let's have a nap and uh, you know yeah. let's watch the football yeah. and and then let's uh, when we turn on the news and we've got the politics don't give me don't trouble my head mm -hmm. with anything complicated I don't want to figure anything out I okay. want this this guy who seems like he knows what he's doing who yeah. reassures me and makes me feel good that's about a, myself that's a citizen, a citizen in general and that's what listen that's what Mussolini did that's what Hitler did that's yeah. what Stalin did. they all were very strong figures who were good orators yeah. and who assured people you don't have to think I'll do it for you Do you think uh, mr. Trump's in that vein well, I, would you see it that I way? don't yeah. think Trump is really sincerely uh, a person who believes in any of that stuff. But I, he's putting us all on. He's putting us all on, but he's also dangerous in the sense that I don't think he has any uh, moral constraints or boundaries. In other words, he does. I don't even think he even knows the difference between reality and fantasy anymore. And I think that the danger is that when you the, when the adrenaline is flowing, but he believes his fantasy, does he? No, I'm not sure. You don't think so. No, you no. Think he's being hypocritical. Well, I think he's. We're going to. Everything's going to be great. No, I don't think he has a clue what he would do. And I think. think if you got good. I think he knows he wouldn't know what, what to do. He knows that, but he 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 but thinks he, the whole thing is. He gives the air of knowing it's all about I can negotiate really better than anybody. In yeah, but you know he or, hasn't. And can I tell you something? I was just reading. Something. You know, we're here in your studio, and down yeah. the block they've got this a uh, huge complex called Riverside South that they're building with thousands of apartments what and skyscrapers. The big buildings that they're building on this block. Did you not notice there's skyscrapers yeah, going I up? Noticed, but I just thought it's another skyscraper. It, it's one of the biggest ha uh, projects ever me, in New York City. Know. Take a couple minutes. Tell it's me. It's thousands yeah. of apartments, and, and it's just it was a big. Eleventh Avenue. Or yeah, it's yeah. it's the old rail lines there, and uh, and they bought it up, and yeah. Trump was involved in this. But see, the thing about Trump is Trump is a front guy. Trump is a brand. Trump is like a mayonnaise. That's what Trump is. Oh, Trump mayonnaise. is just a mayonnaise. Not the state, he's though, just a, the, he's just Hellman's mayonnaise yeah, yeah. or whatever it is, yeah. you know, uh, or another brand, let's yeah. say. Uh, and 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 uh, what he is is he's a guy who uh, has a brand. And people will buy something that has a brand on He's it. It's got a catchy title. And so what the he, name has a catchy title. Trump. Yeah, it has no a Trump. it's a sound. Yeah. Trump oh, bridge, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got my my producer. Trump here, sounds like a sound you make with your tongue yeah, or something, right, you know, right. clicking, right? So but in bridge, Trump is the top. You Trump know? sounds I like once, a verb. I once made a thing with my mother playing bridge. You play bridge? I don't play bridge. I once played a, a thing where I had uh, and you seven Trumped no her. Trump, no seven no Trump doubled and redoubled. Yeah. And made it. Yeah. So what Trump is is this, Harold. Trump. Trump is. No Trump is above. Trump, Trump. is a guy who who Trump. realized that he yeah. could go and talk to people. No that Trump is above Trump. Did you realize that? <laughs> <in the beginning? laughs> That's great. No, it is. <laughs> Did no not Trump know. No Trump is top. You can go. Well, there you yeah. go. There's the bumper sticker. No yeah, Trump hearts, is above clubs, Trump. Spades and cart. You know. But no Trump is above. Uh, you know Trump. what? As soon as I leave There's here, a metaphor as soon as I leave here, I'm going to work meaningful. on it for yeah, a possible right. article for our site. All who right, what, right, who right. what, why? Yeah. It's, you you used right. to do. Okay. You work with it. Yeah. So anyway, uh, what he does, what Trump does, is he sees something and he goes to them and he says, "Hey, you, yeah. hey kid, you got a great thing here. Yeah. I love your lemonade stand. Yeah. You know, if you put my name on there, you're going to sell a lot more lemonade. I tell and you what, would. you yeah. give me, you know, forty percent of whatever you make, and I'll be over sitting by the pool. Yeah, That's what he does." basically. Yeah, yeah. And so um, when he talks about his successes, they're not generally his successes because he doesn't actually build anything. He, he doesn't it, really right? do the work, you know, yeah. with the Trump Hotel. He's not really a hotelier. He's not, he's not, you know, worrying about, you know, is the, is the mattress comfortable, you know, no, no, no. Uh, or bookings or, you know. But the construction in that, you know, he does He's not do really, he's no. not, he's not a, he's not actually a, a, a builder. You know, builders are the people, the construction companies, yeah. he's a, he's a general contractor. They're just the people who put everybody together they put uh, the deal together it's like an it, like a producer on a movie or an executive producer they put the money in or so in the movies yeah. some people they don't even put the money but in. they do have in a movie a director the, he he's not the, he's creative. not the director the director of, a, of an enterprise is the person who has the creative input. believe me he's not the creative guy who are the creative people who have the input for the economy for the economy? Yeah, for the economy. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, I, I mean, mean I, I, I think people, there's some of them we know them, like a Warren Buffett is a man who literally pays a lot of attention mm. to the uh, value proposition yeah. of the businesses that he invests in. Yeah, yeah. He has very strong principles of how uh, a company should Seems work. Seems to be a mensch. How to, yeah, how, yeah, how to treat people. Seems like yeah. a decent guy. Yeah. And, you know, so he's, a, he's not only a brand, but he's a real guy. Yeah, what about, uh, you know, the richest man in the world? 
Who's that? That's uh, the the head of uh, Microsoft. I thought it was the Mexican guy. Isn't no, he the they, richest they, guy? Well, there's a cr there's a crook or something in Mexico. <laughs> Slim Jim. Or Slim, something. yeah. Something. Carlos Slim, yeah. Carlos Slim. Yeah. Or no, who, but who, I mean, who owns uh, or owned a big piece of the New York Times, by yeah, the way? Who's the head of Microsoft? It's Bill, Bill Gates. Gates. Yeah. He's the richest man in the world. Yeah. Listen, Bill Gates is a very intelligent fellow. Yeah. I mean, he was very involved in building his company. Like like most of these people, like Steve Jobs and everything, they yeah. had very sharp elbows, and they, uh, generally speaking, I'm not aiming this anyone kind of you know would see that somebody else had a good idea and they yeah. would manage to take it yeah uh, and maybe yeah. those people didn't end up too happy about yeah, it yeah, uh, yeah. they were very aggressive yeah. and that's a big part of business so you know you have different kinds of people so we have in uh, youth we used to have Lone Ranger You're too young to remember Lone Ranger and Tonto Tonto was the, the, uh, I, the I, mass, I remember mass them out of the West and everything I remember who them. are the who are the Lone Rangers that are, who are the good guys well, well yeah. where, what, what are the lines about good and bad or evil or whatever that our moral principles yeah. have uh, tried to counsel us yeah. about? And what's the reality I, of I the mean, human? I mean, I, I what's think the reality of the human condition that we can put some uh, meat all on? All right. So first of all, if we look at the people running for president, I will say this: whatever one says about Bernie Sanders, he is a man who I think has had the same principles throughout his life. Yeah, he's, he's been entirely in consistent. He was he was sitting in um, for the blacks. 63, uh, right. Uh, 63, he, he, yeah. he was, you know, he was, Bless him, yeah. he, he supports more or less the same values and issues he always has. Mm -hmm. So whether you agree with him or disagree with him, you want to give him credit for that. Yeah. Uh, he is a man who, when he was in the House of Representatives and then in Congress and then the Senate, he would go and he would try to pass things and he would make speeches. You can watch old C-SPAN and yeah. see him at you know three o'clock yeah. in the morning speaking to a nearly empty a chamber, decrying U.S. interventions in with all these feeling. countries, with, with feeling, feeling with talking about feeling, uh, how yeah. how the how the American public was being stolen from. So you know, I think he deserves a lot of credit mm -hmm. for uh, sincerity and and passion and uh, commitment. He's an intelligent man, yeah. um, uh, but you know the system is not really designed for people like that okay, to well advance. Okay, well, what does that tell us about the system? Well, or the about, system. Now you're saying we got to change that the system, system, including the media, yeah. are typically interested in advancing what they call centrists. And so the, yeah. the, they really, you know, the thing about the, the media is that even though I think individual journalists tend to be what you call liberals, yeah. uh, they support all the social issues yeah, and yeah, they're right, against right. war and so on. Yeah. When push comes to shove, they're elitists and they've got kids going to expensive Ivy League schools right. and private schools and what have you. Get a leg and, up, yeah. you know, they're part of the system. Yeah. And so uh, a Bernie Sanders scares them a little bit. Well, he would if he was coming to question it at all. We used to be scared of, back in the old days, uh, this guy, Karl Marx. <laughs> yeah. Don't seem to be anymore since 89 or something. Yeah, well. But that was an ideological reading of the human condition that dealt with economics. It's economics. Uh, what, what, how, do we, how do we look at the reality of if what they're really interested in, the guys, the engineers, are the bottom line money, then uh, where is the analysis of how we form capital, how the society is going to be? Yeah, you know, organized. listen. I mean, I've I've read all that stuff, and you know, I was recently Do reading. Do you have? Some, a, are you a Keynesian? I was recently or? reading uh, some or? stuff from Rosa Luxemburg, and okay, you know, she yeah. had her own critique, yeah. uh, differing with Marx, and there were all these different things. Look, coming out of the left. I, yeah. I, I, you know, I even after, and I, you know, I have a degree in political science. Yes, even after yeah. all that, yeah. I don't find myself being a person who readily uh, promotes a particular uh, philosophy or philosopher or book. Do, and you, do, you, do you have a general attitude plague on them all? No, you, would it, no, you say, no. Or what? You, I, don't I, have, I, you have no lodestar. Right, I think that is moral. I, or I, in in like other words, I, I think we live in too much of a society where we, where we. It's we, very hard to have. Where, that. where we, we idolize others, yeah. and we look for idols. We look yeah. for those yeah, that we can yeah. put up on a pedestal, yeah, whether yeah. it's a, yeah. a, a Marx or the, uh, the, 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 the libertarians have what they call the Austrian school of economics. And there's always Scientology uh, with. Uh, you know, and yeah, everybody's yeah, got you know L. Ron Hubbard. You know, you know they got their favorite actor. Yeah. People find yeah. it easy to put it on somebody else. Right. And my attitude is, you know, we're thinking beings. Yeah. We can read all this stuff, we can yeah. synthesize it, and then let's keep advancing these things with our own ideas. Right. Let's have a contemporary conversation. Well, I, I shared with you that I've got philosophies. I guess I'm doing similar to that. I'm in television and everything, but you're doing it much more 
uh, adroitly, and I congratulate you enormously on the work. Well, listen, you've got I'm a great number of people you're linked with and everything. But I've got certain people like I like Bucky Fuller. Yeah, I like Bucky Fuller. I think I like James Joyce. Yeah, and uh, you know I got some people that I can appreciate, and then I like this uh, this reading of uh, the economic. I loved. Muammar Gaddafi. I was a friend of Muammar Gaddafi, the leader of Libya, and I think Muammar Gaddafi was ahead of history's curve. And I was really, 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 re I was angry with the invasion of Iraq. It was a big mistake on my part. Well, you know, Hillary Clinton. But Hillary Clinton celebrated in that. I typed it. Did you see do, that do article you know in the Times yesterday? you know she pumped her fist about it? We saw, we no, came. No, did you see we... the article in the New York Times yesterday yeah. about her celebrating yeah. overthrowing yeah. Gaddafi? Yeah. I, I mean, think uh, that was a real criminal act on her part. In terms of our... And stupid. In terms of our organization, who, what, you, why, yeah, dot org, right, yeah. we were, I don't know if you know this, we were, as far as I know, the only... A news organization, at least in this country, yeah. that questioned the U.S. going into Libya. And you mentioned all these liberal shows. Not mm. a one of them, yeah. not a one of them challenged the U.S. invasion of Libya. None of them. Well, the, I tried. We did the I'm best just we saying could. these liberal left TV shows yeah. did not. They yeah. didn't challenge the U.S. going into well, Syria. Well, they got, they got, they're hung up on the Enlightenment. And the no, I'll tell, you, well, I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what oh, it is. Tell me what it is. When a Joe, Democrat is in office, yeah. they're afraid to criticize them too much. And so they, because of their funding and everything else, yeah. and so they get in line and they yeah. say, well, if Obama goes into Libya, it must be justified. Yeah. You see, but it's not because it's not Obama doing it. It's no, this, it was Obama and, and Clinton. No, it's the military. It, it was Hillary it's, Clinton. It's the military industrial and complex. And NATO. Yeah. Do, right, do you, know right. who, you know who wanted Gaddafi taken out? I don't know. I mean, I the don't same know. outfit who gave Hillary Clinton all that money to speak, Goldman Sachs. Do yeah. you know about that? Uh, no, this I, is very, yeah, Goldman Sachs. This is very they, important. They came in out of the cold. Gold, I, I really, he had made tremendous Goldman progress. Sachs was hired yeah. by Gaddafi to manage and their, safe. Safe their got, sovereign, safe got involved with their sovereign wealth fund. This yeah, is right. The, that's right. That's right. right. This, is, this is the people's right. money in yeah. Libya. Yeah. And, uh, of course, you know, he was a dictator and he had brutal methods. But the thing was that one of the ways that he stayed in power was doing things that people liked. Well, he went from uh, they were the poorest people, just for the hell of it, I think that there were, do you, let me ask you another question, veer off, okay? Do you think the United States of America with George Washington and, and we'd had uh, a thousand years after Rome, we'd had uh, hereditary families that called, formed the basis of political legitimacy in Europe for about a thousand years with all the crowned heads of Europe, including uh, the Louis of France and everything. And then across the ocean, they started this thing bunch of people off the Enlightenment and whatnot, you know, George Washington, Jefferson, Franklin, that kind of thing. They set up a system. That system seemed to me to be in advance of the of the uh, uh, ancient regimes of the You can really, you, you sure know how to spin on a dime. I want to go back to Gaddafi for a second. Well, all right, and I would have, but I, I just wanted to say that 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 they they we were ahead of history's curve. Yeah, yeah. The, what the impetus that was being made to overcome monarchy yeah. was ahead of that. Now he was ahead of where we gotcha. and the world okay. now I gotcha. is, and yeah. we overthrew him just like they came right. and burned Washington well, in eighteen twelve. Well, what's important to know is that he was a symbol for developing countries of ways in which they could advance. And he was a, he was becoming more and more of a leader. And you know this, for the non-aligned countries. He was Absolute talking Mandela about creating, him, he yeah. was talking about creating another currency and going off the dollar. He wanted to start the United States of Africa, which That's would right. have been a good idea. He was talking about the power. Off, offset to NATO. He was talking about NATO the- NATO came and bombed him. The power of these. It's like, it's like the, the crowned heads coming and bombing Washington in right. 1812. And as he correctly pointed out, if you get all these countries that have all these, natural resources, which mm. are mostly these poor countries, and put them together, yeah. they really could be tremendously powerful. Yeah. And so, of course, a guy like Gaddafi was a threat. No, but ideologically, he was a threat. He was a threat in many respects. He was. But but here's the thing. I'm not sure he, if you appreciate he that. I, no, I do. But he started really where he had been ostracized and he had been marginalized and he made tremendous measures to get so-called back into the community of nations. It was really... Well, that uh, was safe, uh, it was, really got him going that way and got him involved. It was extortion, basically, but he had no choice. Well, they had gone and so, a long way. They had, they had gone 
they had gone a long way, and they, 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 they had done some atomic. They came back from that. They were really trying to make peace with the world. Well, there's more and to it. Safe, there's more. Safe to study uh, uh, banking and what, and he got involved with the bankers. Yeah, there's more. There's, that was his son. There's, and there's he's under he's under siege. There's more to it than that because you know the even that Pan Am 103 thing, yeah, uh, which yeah. was the that was the thing that isolated him more than anything else. Yeah, but that was not, if, they didn't. Do and yet, that. if you study it, yeah. you even look at what a lot of the investigators and a lot of the uh, they didn't do a lot Pan of the experts say. It they say that it was not really Libya. That was, no, it was out of the Becca, out of the Becca Valley. I think it's understood. That, that was not. That was a well. There are a lot of charge. questions. Who it was, yeah. um, and again, if you go to our site, who yeah. what why dot org, you can read our articles about Pan Am one hundred and three. I'm going to go. Uh, and and I'm my go when I get my, home. my point is, yeah, right. none of these yeah. other. Uh, as much as I like them and I read them and I watch them, none of these other news entities, liberal, progressive, whatever you want to call them, mm. will touch any of this. Mm. It's too scary because we have been told well, what's too repeatedly. Scary is something that goes above and beyond the accepted narrative of where the world is, based primarily upon the ideas of the Enlightenment. We've been told again and again and again, and that's this is the story. This is the story. There's George no Washington and the cherry tree, well, et cetera, et cetera. And the Enlightenment, you know, and that was a big change. There was a big change. Industrial, uh, economics, everything was going. And now, and, and, and then realpolitik could hold. Or right. Power but let me tell you a, a practical example. Right Please now, do. I talk to people. Somebody says, oh, you do. You have this news site. You're trying to make a difference. Yeah. Maybe I'll give you some money. And then they say, oh, this is a picture of me with Hillary at my house. You know, Hillary came over. Hillary stayed there. Obama mm -hmm. stayed there. Some, yeah. So they're already invested. They got a picture of themselves, the president, yeah. the future president. They're not going to risk their status. Uh, and so if we're telling them that yeah. we may not get the real story about why we went into Libya, why Hillary was for it, why Obama, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. They become angry and they want to kill the messenger, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. It angers them yeah. because their own feelings about themselves and their own self-worth are wrapped up in the way that they were seduced by these powerful figures and, and entities. And, and where do you get down to it? The, thing, the, the major thing, there's a lot of different things that motivate human society, I guess, and behavior and so forth, and all the institutions that follow everything. But, uh, you know, there's love and there's camaraderie. There's all kinds of uh, intellectual... Or there things. should be, anyway. Or should, well, there is. And I was just talking in a program before about how youth, you know, five-year-olds are so honest. And then they grow up and be like us in mendacity and so forth. Uh, Blake, you know, Songs of Innocence. Yeah. Song of Kids can be pretty, pretty devious, though. I mean, you think so? That's oh, that's, what I, I've heard people express oh, that. That instinct is I very, find the comes kids very are gorgeous. Young. I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> I love five year olds. They're my favorite people. Oh, I do but, too. But, but I'm just saying they're, they're complicated beings and they're, and the instincts come I out pretty early. I wish you would not bring that up because <laughs> it's making me see them a little bit different. They're a little uh, fast. They're a little very, uh, very uh, manipulative. Yeah, manipulative. yeah. That, I said it with a group of intellectuals the other night saying that to them. Yeah. One guy yeah. just went, you got to be crazy. They're just, they just bend us to their little finger, you know. If there's any age, if there's any age where people really kind of get it together, I don't know what it is. Yeah, well, anyway, but the thing is we're getting to a point where things are really changing in a major way and everything. And so um, how, uh, do you think it's a time of, quali that, that there's a time of quality? Do we live in a time of qualitative transformation? The, the, you know, not just another era of, you know, some enjant regime. No, we could treat it like we got a system that's in place and this is about as good as it can ever get. And there's not another level of qualitative transformation in the cards for the evolution of humans, uh, the human scenario. Well, are, we, are we caught in this mess or are we at a time of qualitative transformation? I'll tell you what, what bothers me. For the danger. Yeah. And for the promise yeah. of qualitative, not just quantitative change, gotcha. qualitative okay, change. Okay, so he, here's what and I see. Born into here's that what I see generation. as the problem: the 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 qualitative change is taking place in the sciences, not in the social sciences. Uh, well, okay. We have we yeah. have advanced miraculously in uh, in medicine in. Uh, uh, 
uh, in so many different spheres, physics and uh, cell phone technology yeah, and on and on and on. It's incredible. And it's it's exponential with gene sequencing and well, you know, we yeah, go on a, with virtual reality, do. with yeah. you know, all of these right. all of that is things. Not, it's not all exponential. There's still some things that are not the really But they're, they're, the but advances are coming fast and furious. Those things particularly with information technology. Listen, cooking technology, I mean, I don't care what it is, they, all of these things are changing rapidly and yeah. people are setting their minds to the task. But when it comes to preventing wars, getting people to get along, eliminating poverty, inequality, injustice, where is the willpower? Where well, is the funding? Know, Where is the demand for don't that? Don't you think we could agree over the whole, it was 200,000 years we've been here, something like that, that the, the main way in which a political legitimacy is established in the beginning, let's say, is whoever's got the biggest club can hit the other on the head and then have some soldiers who protect him. And then you've got to have some very important uh, creation story or PR to build up, we're better than others. And that's the basis of political legitimacy, and it's called real politique, yeah. not idealism. Yeah, well, there's but an advantage. Politique. Listen, it's this power. is the club, okay? Yeah. This is the club that I can hit you with, and of course. Uh, well, I was thinking more of the fifth, the fifth fleet. No, but uh, no, but I'm saying fleet all, and the seventh fleet. all technology, all these it's things. Military. No, let's think about this. You're a okay. rich person, and you fund uh, the uh, the hospital, New York Hospital. There's a wing with your well, name I'm on it. I'm thinking of a rich person who funds the sixth, the 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 military. I understand the military, including the Trident sub. The military is the most obvious example, but what I'm yeah, saying very, is, very but what I'm saying is, the people yeah. who, who who really determine so much about our lives mm. have all the advantages. Mm. If they get oh, yeah. sick, they yeah. go right to the best doctor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. they, you know, if they need to get in contact with somebody, they got somebody standing right next to them has you know the satellite yeah. to uh, hook up the, you know. Yeah, So right. they are always staying and there ahead. And there is some trailing of that for the people of the masses is going to triple trickle down. Yeah, some of that uh, yeah. advanced medicine. And then you have stuff. Penicillin like, was a good thing. And know? then you have stuff like handguns, where people think all yeah. these people think they need a gun to protect themselves yeah. against the government. Well, yeah. first of all, you're not going to protect yourself against the government. You're going to end up <laughs> shooting your your neighbor <laughs> accidentally or yeah. your own kid or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, they're yeah. foolish. These yeah. people. Right. Well, uh, but but you know they they're you know we we you were talking about uh, the 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 sixth fleet or the fifth fleet and and of course this is how we see everything. We see everything through might. Well, well, yeah, well, that's, the, that's been the story of the political organization of the planet, by and large. Whoever's got the biggest club, mm -hmm. or army, or navy, or air force, or whatever, and now it's atomic weapons that well, is there we're, we're, that are able to intimidate, that's the source of power. I think we're almost post all that, Harold, because the reality is well, that we've, got, po you we've, think got we to, we've gotten to we're a stalemate. Well, uh, uh, look. Post real politique? We've gotten to a stalemate where it's not that easy anymore. Who's going to nuke who? I mean, uh, the, 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 the uh, globalization has entwined the world so much. Yeah. The investments of the United States and China, the, the re requirements requirements that everybody who goes to, you know, Ikea or, 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 or uh, Walmart, they, yeah, they, right, they right. can't nuke China because right. they're, yeah, where right. they're going to get their lawn furniture well, well, from. That, you know? That's true. And, that's so, and so strangely enough, yeah. we, we've got a kind of an enforced peace on a certain level yeah, yeah. by the consumerism and the investments and everything else. So I, I see it in a different way. I see that well, the you struggles. See the, you see them arguing over Mr. Netanyahu coming here and addressing him about Iran getting it, and they're really, really worried about they've not got the power and you're going to have these evil forces that are going to have yeah, power. Yeah, but see, I wouldn't look at the world the anymore the, vertically. I wouldn't look at okay, it vertically. I would okay. not look at it as everybody in the United States from top to bottom together against everybody from top to bottom in Russia. I don't think that's I the analysis. That. I don't think it ever was really the analysis. Right, you're probably because, right. Because yeah, people yeah, like yeah, us, like yeah. ordinary people, working yeah. people, etc., we've always never had a problem going to some other country and meeting other people and well, you being and I probably are not ordinary, and, but okay. I well, being invited to their yeah. house yeah, and right. finding common yeah. cause and, yeah, yeah. and teaching yeah. each other how yeah. to sing and dance each Doing other's dances, thinking, yeah. right? Yeah. We never had anything in common with the with the steel baron who yeah. was could only wait to club our grandfather. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And did and did and did. And, yeah. did. and so the point yeah. is, 
a lot of those titans in our society have yeah. more in common with the with the Stalins and the Goebbels and yeah, so on. Yeah, yeah. But because of the heavy propagandization, including by yeah. all your favorite liberal whatever it is, th there's there's a failure to acknowledge that we're all downtrodden, that people all over the world are kept down well, by the powerful be, we, and the we rich. May be, we're part of an evolutionary process that's been uh, seeing as punctuated equilibrium creating new. There are new that emerge out of the evolutionary process. We were only 200,000 years, just got started, really, the Homo sapiens species. Well, gee, I hope it doesn't take another 200,000, because I don't know about you, but I will probably not be around You're to see us get where, we, years where we need to get to. Yeah, right. I'd, yeah. I, I'd like to see some things happen in my life. Yeah, but do you, what I, that's what I'm getting at in a sense, because I do believe, I, I don't want to bore anybody, they, I say it all the time and everything, but I do believe in the modeling, you could do it, you could, you're investigative. The, the tridents, the blown, I think, I'm not sure, but the weapon systems collectively that are possessed by the Homo sapiens species, if they were to be unleashed, we were protected in our impotence in as recently as the Second World War. But they have become species lethal. Oh, and, absolutely. And it's, 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 it's still, realpolitik still is something in the minds of our leaders. Can I tell you and something? I totally, I totally agree with you that the nuclear threat is greater than ever. And, but I would also no, say species that. species lethal. But I would also say this. I would also say that when you, climate change is also species lethal, all of these things. I don't think climate change in and of itself, it would create inconvenience that would create oh, political conditions that could allow the unleashing of the weapons that would be species well, lethal. Well, okay. I, but that has only been there in our power collectively since about 1970, the, the weather our is, time. The weather is changing so rapidly. Yeah, that's true. It's by um, the month it's changing. Yeah. This is this is not, I, I think it's not, I think it's not, it's irreversible at this point. But you mean the climate we're facing such major crises, uh, the threat of, uh, of the, to the crops of the world, uh, the water supply, all of these things. We're, so, we're in such mortal danger, and this terrifies people. And so they want to turn this off and watch the modern equivalent of Ozzy and Harriet. You well, know, that's, that's we the don't have Ozzy and Harriet The modern anymore, equivalent they're, of. There's strip joints with poles. No, and that's, the, we sorry. don't have those anymore yeah. either, Harold. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you haven't been to a curse. strip joint in no. a while, I guess. Well, I don't think I've ever, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> Not my thing, but, but but the the, th the thing is, is the reason I started who what why yeah, dot org yeah. is because I think we have very very little time and we need to do a thank great you deal. I agree with that and so my mission is to very rapidly build a global news organization that digs finds out what's going on and actually levels with the public because I still That's hope really that there's a chance is there is there much of that going on you've got outreach I would think. You've got outreach with colleagues and other people, and that most. Sort of thing. I will tell you that most of our it's pretty grim. On most the whole. of uh, most of the other organizations that we know of don't really uh, wish us well. They don't. We, even when we talk You're about, about your thing, uh, yeah, the who, what, why. We, when we I, is you got you got forty, fifty people. Right, right. But I'm right? saying when we yeah. when we talk to other yeah. news organizations, yeah. we say, why don't we collaborate? Yeah. Why don't we find ways? Do they don't want to do it, and I don't think they even wish us well. They see us as a threat. Do you have anybody because that you've enabled it, to connect with? Some yeah, I mean, brother, of course, there are examples. Real well, camaraderie. I get on some shows. Some people endorse uh, the work that we do. Yeah. Uh, we have. I would like to. Our, if our, you don't mind, I'd like to do it right I, now. I would love. I it. think what you got going is really important. I really do. I mean it. Yeah. Well, thank but you. Anyway, we, we appreciate yeah. it. You Keep know, I mean, doing what I mean, this doing past right week, yeah. uh, one of our young uh, apprentice journalists was on the Tom Hartman show. Sorry, I don't know if we should Tom promote Hartman. things, but I know Tom. I'm just I saying, watch them every day, they, you know? those shows need guests. They need people who know yeah. stuff, and they're willing to have us on. But the yeah. other sort of competitor uh, magazines, online magazines, newspapers, and so on, they don't wish us well. well is there because much of that going on? Where is it? In well, there are a lot of websites. Is it print or is it multi? Does it have to be multimedia? It's now? it's all multi. Multimedia, it's, it's video and audio and whatever. But what I'm saying is, yeah, they don't wish us not well. So much print they don't wish us well because they see us as a threat. Because if they were doing such a great job, we wouldn't need to exist. Because you can even call them up. Well, I, I listen. I got or, better things to do than to work 15-hour days, six, seven days a week, as I currently which do. You do yeah. But you know, there are other things to do with your life. I'm what doing do this. What do you eat? You look great. Oh, thank you. you well, look I work out. 18. <laughs> I think you probably got a few more years than yeah, that. I'm, I'm 19, but yeah. oh, 19. Uh, yeah, well, that's yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 But, you know, the yeah. thing, Harold, is that it, I'm doing this not because uh, I have nothing else to do mm. or because this is so much fun, although it is fun. It is but fun, But I'm yeah. doing it because 
it really bothers me that these kinds of issues aren't being taken on. And issue you, here, look how much we've talked about you with Libya, uh, Syria, uh, you know, all, all of these, you know, what happened with Pan Am 103, uh, the Boston bombing, all these stories where you're not getting the story from the entire spectrum, from Fox News to yeah. these liberal left, whatever, not a one of them. And in fact, That's here's true. the interesting thing, yeah. the, the way in which the narrative... You have a video presence, don't you? We have some video. We're trying to do more. We, yeah. By the way, people watch watching if, if people have skills yeah, in these areas we're yeah. always uh, happy to welcome in skilled experienced professional volunteers yeah, we, right, we need right. people who really know what they're doing because right. we can't afford to yeah. take the time to teach but people. do you have a site or something and, and where you've got video going uh, we, Are you do, we don't have into the video electronic video, yeah we don't have a studio yet but we're going to be doing it in the have next a presence six months on the web or something, uh, yeah. we have a YouTube channel yeah, okay. uh, well, and YouTube's an important archive yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so anyway you know, we're going to be talking next week with the guy that's got the uh, are you familiar with it the um, it's called the uh, what's it called um, the film anthology anthology film of uh, archive yes uh -huh. down in second avenue it's i love it it's a great place jonas meek I, I know it well second that's a avenue. very important place it I is think. It, it is it that's is an archive there should be more archiving in Ab multimedia Ab absolutely right? yeah. there's also the internet archive which is very important what do you mean what is that the what? internet archive no, is, is a non-profit that preserves every website every everything that wait, has wait, ever no, spell it out archive.org it's wait a, a non-profit archive Dot org. W, 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 archive archive dot org. org. Yeah, people can look I'll at it. Put it together it's an, it's a nonprofit, it? and they now are going back and 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 saving to make available every television uh, evening newscast that it? ever aired. Who's doing it? It's a nonprofit organization. No, who, who's in behind it? I don't. You know? I, I don't remember all the names. It's just a, they're not p names you would know. They're just a bunch of individuals. They've raised a little bit of money. Do you use it? Uh, you, we use it all the time. You do archive. Well, if you want to see what Walter Cronkite said. On June 2, 1967, eventually you'll and be able to go organized? and look how at it. How do they have it organized and everything? Geographical? Well, I'm, I'm not an, uh, I'm not an expert, Harold. But no, but, but that's very important. No, I know it is. I, I think know that's it is. The way but but I want to get back. And to then the what you got? I want to get back to the point that you know, I was making, which which is this, which is uh, this, oh, yeah, is well, and yeah. it just for the listeners yeah. so they know. I've been on your show before, and I know you got to fight to stay out. You you have what you have to say, and I have what I have to say, and I like this. I like you, but I'm 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 holding my ground here a little bit, you know, because I. I want to. I want to. Since I figure I'm the guest, I want to make oh, some points. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I am technically the guest. So okay. Yeah, so that's I want right. to. I want to make yeah. a few points here. So yeah. so the thing well, is, we got three minutes. So okay. So the thing is this: is use is, haiku. <laughs> the thing is that is is that is that you're not hearing any of this stuff from any of yeah, these places, that's true. That's and, and right. in fact, yeah. from left to right, yeah. seventy or eighty percent of their narrative is the same. Right. And what we're saying is, you've never been told the truth about practically anything. It's well, all it's all up for grabs. There's a greater truth. It all needs to be investigated. There's a greater truth coming. And people with an open mind yeah. and some good digging skills yeah. need to be turned loose yeah. without an agenda except being told, go and find out what happened and come back Norbert, and tell we, us. Nor and that yeah. is what we are all about at yeah. whowhatwhy.org. Go out, find out what happened, yeah. and tell the people. And also, it's really interesting, I may get my two cents worth in. Um, Norbert Wiener was a great cyberneticist. You know, he did it. He, he taught that. And among other things, uh, he's because everything's going. You said it exponential. Not everything. Right. Not a, not uh, agriculture. A lot of things aren't going exponential. But the information technology and now it's going over into robotics. Right. But he said that information technology. We're being inundated. Speaking we're of information technology, can I provide how people can get a hold of us? Can I do By that? By all means, say okay. it. I got to so bring we've it got up. So we've got we've got Twitter. It's uh, at. Who, what, why? Okay. Who, what, why? We've got a Facebook page. Who, what, why? Good. Uh, our website is who, what, why yeah. dot org. Yeah, we we'll, uh, we'll got it. You know, I think we're even on Pinterest. Uh, we got uh, we got a YouTube. Who, what, why? And yeah. we are going to add more. And again, as more volunteers come on board, yeah. who are specialized in these different social media platforms. I'm just agreeing yeah. with your point about yeah. the exponential thing. Yeah. We're with it. We're riding that wave. Yeah. Well, that's really good. But he said information and information overload permits pattern recognition. So we, we, we want to be able to see our patterns, that can be seen 
uh, the exponential increasing of the patterns so that we can see patterns, multimedia patterns, that can help inform the society. Absolutely, so gotta I look for patterns. So I think your team does that, I'm trying to do that. So listen, one of the things that's in, we don't have enough of in this universe is time on programs. We've run out of time, All right. brother. Great talking good to man. you. Good man, thank a you. Good, you're a good man too, and what, what, what is it again now? It's who, what, why. Who, what, why. Dot what org, O-R-G. You can't add anything more on there? Who, what, why, who, what, or wherever, why. No, or why you, know, you can add whatever be, you want. Or but could be, or maybe will be, or whatever. If something. you want to find it, you just need to remember those three words. The last yeah. word is why. Okay, we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for coming in. Happy, what is this? Uh, Tuesday, Super Tuesday. Super Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. We got to get more. We got to get together more. Thanks for viewing. We're coming back again tomorrow. Good to see you, pal. Good to see you. Okay. So that's it. We're out. So you got a lot in. That's really good. How did I do over there? Very good. Very interesting. Thank you. Extremely interesting. Mm. Thank you. And she's yeah. very bright. Hey, is this something we should put up too on our site? Should we put you up on our? You give you an extra distribution network. Win. No, I mean, I mean if, if we if we can get this stuff uploaded to the 